So tonight we are here with uh, Kelly, and uh, Kelly did the metabolic reset about about a month ago. You ended ultimately, I think yeah, it was early, early. right before Halloween. Yeah, um, did really really well. Uh, lost eighteen point seven pounds in the six weeks, six and three quarter inches from her waist, um, two inches from her hips. Um, that's just awesome. You're gonna see me. Um, looking around because I got notes all over my desk and um, I'm also looking at a couple different screens to make sure if anybody's watching whoever's watching if you have a question just write it in the the um, comments at the bottom of the uh, screen and you can, I'll try to answer them or Kelly will try to answer them when I read them to her okay um, so here let's just get started with a little bit of background. Kelly, can you tell us your story and why you did the metabolic body reset? Okay. So for the past three to four years, my weight had been slowly creeping up. Um, then it got to a point where it was its highest peak. I was almost 200 pounds. Um, I was sleeping three hours a day in the afternoon whenever I could. Um, just really uncomfortable and miserable. So I went to my doctor and they suggested that I do a sleep study and go see a nutritionist because I was running already. And, you know, major most of my diet was already pretty well, pretty good. Um, so I, before I went that, before I went and did that, I saw Kristen, my friend Kristen. Hey, girl. And <laughs> she told me about this program. And I was like, if before I go through all of that, let me try this. If this doesn't work, then I'll go do that. Um, I thought the least that would happen is that my eating would be right on track again. You know, I would eliminate things that I think are good, but really aren't, you know. So I did that, and I'm really happy with my progress. You, you did really, really well. And, yeah, it, uh, was so, it was easy. That was awesome. the best and it's part, just, that was so easy. And during the, the six weeks, you start to notice changes with your body and how your body was reacting to things? Oh, absolutely. Um, almost immediately. The first couple of days, I did have a headache, but I think that was the withdrawals from the, my Diet Coke addiction. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, I had that headache and then once I got over that hump, I felt great. Um, I wasn't sleepy anymore all the time. My need for a nap went away. I had so much energy. I found I was getting loads of laundry done in the morning, the dishwasher, all this other stuff that, you know, in the morning I was prior to that, I was just lagging around, but I really felt better. Um, I've had a pain in my shoulder for quite a few years and after I stopped putting all that stuff in my body, it started to feel better. So I haven't awesome. had to take a leave for it in I don't know how long. It's awesome. So let's circle back around to the Diet right. Coke. Um, how oh, yeah. are you drinking? <laughs> um, four to five a day. You know, I would have one in the morning because I wasn't a coffee drinker. And then I would have one mid-morning and with my lunch and then with my dinner and then in the evening. So I was having quite a few Diet Cokes. Okay. Started off, it would start off with one a day, and then it just gradually increased over the years. So, and you haven't had one since you started the program. No. I and mean, I think you said you tasted it, but it didn't taste right. No, it was so sweet and little. <laughs> that's. I mean, that's good because it's it not good. good. Yeah. Yeah, it it's not good. Um, so, how are you doing? Like during the program. How did you find the Facebook group? Was it supportive for you? I found it very supportive. It was so refreshing to see these people like ringing their bells for their five pounds. I'm just like, okay, well, this person made it to 15 pounds. I'm going to make it to 15 pounds. Um, you know, someone would post like this, you know, when you were feel like you were getting sick of eating vegetables, someone would post this fantastic meal and you're like, oh, I'm going to try that. And then it would just kind of get you back into the program again. Like you would just, it would just refresh you a little bit, you know? Nice. Um, it was very supportive. It, it was just like that little thing on your shoulder that just kept saying, keep going, you got this, you can keep doing it, you know? Well, if there's anybody who's not who's watching and doesn't know, the, we have a private or a secret Facebook group. You can't even search it up. It's only the people who have done the metabolic body reset or are doing it. 
And every five pounds you lose, you go in there and you post a picture of a bell ringing. And then everybody just sort of chimes in. Good job. Yeah. Congratulations. You don't even know the people. They're chiming in. No. They're, yeah. It's great. It's all positive. Um, it's just very nice. And it's a, it's a great, safe environment. Awesome. Awesome. So I asked you some questions at the end of the uh, six-week program. And you talked about um, some changes in your body. And you said that you had gotten positive comments about the, your weight and how you looked. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. I mean, even my principal <laughs> at the school was like, oh, you, you look pretty good. What are you doing? You know, and I said I was doing it, um, doing the Metabolo program. But I've got, you know, other, other peers have said that they have noticed, um, are you losing weight? you look great. Yeah, I am. Thanks. You know, and it's funny because even afterwards, after you're done with the program, you still lose, like you still lose those pounds. And that's when they're really like, oh, did you lose weight? Are you doing something different? You know, so. that's awesome. That's awesome. And that makes you feel better about yourself. But yeah, you also checked off. Do you have better sleep now? I do. I get if I used to wake up one o'clock three o'clock, right on the dot. Um, but now I sleep through the night. I, it's so good. You just get a really good sleep. Awesome. Awesome. So you had daytime fatigue as well prior to starting the program. Can you tell All us a little bit? of the time. All of the time. I would wake up and at 10 o'clock I'd be ready for a nap. And my nap's you can even ask my husband, they weren't quick 15 minute cat naps. They were three hour naps or more. So if I was taking a nap, there went our whole day. So, and then I would probably take one again in the evening, like right before dinner. So it was a lot of exhaustion, just carrying around all the extra weight. Napping now or no? Mm, occasionally, it depends on what we do. Like, the other night, this past weekend, we were up really late. So the next day, I took like a 10-minute nap. But that was enough. It was good. Awesome. You know, awesome. um, prior to that, I was falling asleep in the car. Like, if we would go up to the mall, I would fall asleep in the car while my husband's driving. So that's how bad <laughs> my – it was. It was pretty bad. So more, more energy, decreased oh, yeah. – better sleep, decreased mm -hmm. um, fatigue, and you also have more, more energy. And you're a runner, right? Yes. Try to be. So Try to be. You told me about you ran a half marathon shortly after you were done with the six weeks. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I ran the Rocky Road Run um, in November. So I finished probably the week of Halloween. My program, my mate, I did my maintenance, maintenance phase, which was during Halloween and the week after. And then I probably only ran twice before that. So the Rocky Road Run is you run um, for three miles and then you go back to the starting line and then you run a 10 mile. So it equals a half marathon. Um, I felt great. I hadn't run and ran in probably what, at least six, seven, eight, ten 10 weeks. And yep. I just woke up and ran. Um, I really felt great. No pains, no aching. You know, the worst part of a half marathon is running, walking back to the car. You know, that's when you, could you stop the moving, the pain hits in, sets in, and I had no pain. My recovery time was a lot shorter. Um, my muscle swelling was decreased. Um, I felt great. It was probably the best run I've had in all my years of running. That's great. That's great. Are you training for another race at all? Um, I'm done right now until the spring. We'll start again in the spring. Well, I run. I will still run. I still run, but um, I'm not training anything for anything hardcore. Then my next big race will be St. Luke's Half Marathon. We do that every year, my husband and I, and then we do um, we do quite a few races. We have the Emmaus Four Miler. We do um, a couple of runs at the beach that we go to. So awesome. It awesome. feels good to run again. I just, it, you know, when I was running, I was like, this is what it used to feel like to run. You know, there wasn't that extra weight because that weight will really 
slow you down and set you back. So it's a lot of pressure on your hips and knees as well for every stride. Mostly, yeah, mostly on my knees. Yeah. I read um, once that it's like 15 pounds of pressure for every pound on your think, knees, but I don't know if yeah, it's true. It is. But it, I believe it. It's, it's a lot of pressure, yes. Yeah. And it's pounding away. So that's great. That's phenomenal. Now, you also, when we were talking, talked to me about your wedding ring. Oh, yeah. I can actually take it off. I haven't been that's, able to do that in probably two years. That's great. Like I could take my engagement ring off. That was a little bigger, but my wedding ring, I could never get off unless I was like lotioning and sitting and working at it. But now it just slides off if I'm baking something or doing something. So that's nice. Less swelling. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, you also said you have better clarity of thought. Yeah, definitely. I'm not so scattered brained. I'm like, okay, this is my checklist. Get it done, 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 done. Before it was like, I got to do this, but let me go do this first. But let me go back to this. Let me, you know, and then uh -huh. you get things, um, dropping the ball in the schedules sometimes, you know, it's just, it's better now. Ooh, that's awesome. Um, the other thing you checked off, improved cycle. Yes, yes. The bloating, there's not that significant amount of bloating. There's, um, I'm not on a feeding frenzy like the day before. I don't get the bad mood swings. Like, I think my husband knew it was coming whenever I would just like go nuts, you know? You don't mean to, but you just, it just affects you. And now it's just like any other day. That's great. That's great. So there's a lot of, you know, we've talked about a lot of different things other than just the weight and the inches that mm -hmm. came out of this six weeks. Which oh, is, absolutely. Which is awesome. Now, you mentioned at the very beginning, and I didn't ask the question, but your doctor wanted you to do an, uh, go see a nutritionist and a sleep study prior to doing this program. Correct. So Correct. What, what's the plan now? The plan right now is just to stay on the track that I'm on. Um, if I can, is if I start feeling exhausted again, like I was before, then we'll go on with the sleep study. But as for the nutritionist, my weight and my eating is under control. So, um, that's what the plan is for now. We're just going to keep going the path I'm on. And if anything, you know, God forbid decreases or my weight starts creeping up again, then we'll go that route. But right now he's happy with where I am. Awesome. That's great. That's great. Um, you also, um, had you tried other things in the past to try to lose weight? Oh, absolutely. Um, the South Beach diet we've done. Um, let's see, I've done, you know, P90X, all those crazy beach body programs, which I do enjoy the exercises. I'm not going to lie. I do enjoy the exercises, but you know, it's a very slow and monotonous way to lose weight. And sometimes it's just not for everybody. Yep. I, and I, you know, and I just really felt like, give this a whirl. Let's see how it goes. What's, I mean, and I thought at the very least, I'm going to try this. At least my eating will be right on track. It'll, I'll get that back. So you got the eating back. And yes. is it sustain? You've sustained that same eating pattern, generally. Oh, easily, easily, very easily. Um, you know, you have an adult beverage on the weekend, but then you get back on track on Monday. You flush it out with water the next day. Um, you don't go crazy with it, obviously. But yeah, I mean, I find that it's very easy to eat this way. Like I, that's what I crave. Like I don't miss ice cream. I don't miss. Um, brownies and cookies and all that other stuff um i find it very easy to eat this way awesome. and it's um i find it easier to grocery shop this way too you know um you're not you don't really have to pick and choose the sale prices like you just get what looks good that day you know yes. it's i find it's easier just to get all the vegetables get all the meat and just call it a day you know that's what I, I see you wrote. Uh, I crave veggies and fruit now. I do. 
I certainly do. Good, good thing. My, my dessert is usually blueberries and strawberries because that's what I like. Um, you know, when honeydew is good, you mix it in there. Anything that's good, that's what I like. You know, I feel like, um, you know, clementines do have the sugar, but mm -hmm. that's like a treat. You have one of those and you call it a day, you know, yep. but that's what I crave. We went out for ice cream a couple of weeks ago and I got the baby one and they're like, are you sure the lady behind the counter is like, well, it's only this big and she holds up this tiny cup and I said, that's all I want. You know, if I could just get a small taste of it, that's what I would get. <laughs> you know, that's all you want is a small taste. That's right. That's, that's right. Just to satisfy that flavor. Um, for people who don't know, on the metabolic body reset, you eat protein, you eat vegetables, you eat fruit. And then you can eat as much of another group of vegetables as you want. Um, yeah. There's no shakes. There's no prepackaged. Oh, shakes food. are awful. <laughs> that sh those shakes are awful. I don't care what anybody says. There is not a shake that tastes good. But usually, when you make a shake that tastes good, it's got so much fruit in it. It's so sugared. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, and. You know, we always say it's not a fad because it's sustainable going onward and into the maintenance phase. So what was your experiences on the metabolic body reset for, um, you know, how you felt overall going through it? I know you said the first couple of days were rough detoxing from the Coke. Yeah. But throughout, how would you say it was? I, I don't know. I just felt great. You just, it's, you feel like. You know when you have a cold and you can't breathe and you just think, oh, I take breathing for granted, you know? You get past these those first days where you're detoxing and then it's like you're so refreshed you can breathe again, you know? It's right. just, oh, Sophie, stop. It's just, you know, you just wake up one day and you're like, you, it's undescribable how you feel. You just feel better. Um, the energy, the attitude, um, the way you feel, the way your skin looks, the way your hair looks, like you just are a new person, you know? As a new, a new person then, did you have to <laughs> get some new clothes? Um, a little bit of new clothes. My goal was just to fit into the clothes that I have and I accomplished that goal. So my next round is to have to buy new clothes. That's my goal for the next round. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. But yeah. Those are good goals. Those are very they good are. goals. Yep. Um, <clears throat> so how's the maintenance phase going? We touched on a little bit, but overall, how's it going? Yeah, it, it's going well. I be, you know, I crave the foods that I did on the, the loss part, you know. Um, those are the foods that I still crave. And, you know, on the weekend, you know, I said, oh, I'll have an adult beverage. Clementine is like a treat for me. So I, it's very easy to maintain. It's, it's so easy. And even with the family, like I will make everybody the same meal. It's just, I won't eat the potato. I won't eat the rice. And I, right. you know, and I don't miss that. So it's right. pretty good. And the, so we lost, you locked in your weight after mm -hmm. you got, I went through the losing phase and we're in the maintenance phase. Mm -hmm. It was locked in. And now you're you're out you're, you're adding different things in, but you're still staying in that locked in range. Oh yeah, absolutely. I think the most it ever fluctuated was over Thanksgiving, and it was two pounds, and then two days later it was back down to normal. But that was a holiday, you know, and that was like pie. I had a bite of pot, you know, you had some of that, but it 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 goes right back down or even lower. So you know, it's not it's hardly ever higher than what i locked in um usually the day after running it's a pound heavier but that's you know inflammation muscle swelling from the run so so the metabolic body reset dealt with nutrition the facebook group and um, i know i was in contact with you every couple of days throughout the yep. six weeks almost every day Almost every day. Yeah. Um, so and that helps with mindset and de-stressing because yep. you had, you know, you had a question. There was somebody to answer, whether it was through the Facebook group or through me. Mm -hmm. um, so throughout the whole thing, if somebody's like, 
mindset wise, what, what did you do to um, wrap your head around that? Wait, Hey, I'm losing this weight. I just kept trying on the clothes, you know, <laughs> that is like, okay, this is happening. This is great. You wake up and the scale goes down. You wake up, the scale goes down another half pound. It's just like, holy cow, I'm doing it. This is happening, you know? Um, and it's, it just feels great, you know, to have that accomplishment that some people like people work really hard and spend a lot of money on weight loss. Like it's a millions and billions of dollar industry. And to just be able to do it by changing the way you eat is amazing. It's, and and it's easy. It's, that's the thing. That's what Kristen said to me. And she goes, it's easy. Don't worry. It's easy. <laughs> that's, and that's what she said to me. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know if I could give up the diet Coke, but I didn't miss it. Once That's those great. headaches went away, didn't miss it. That's great. And probably one of the tougher things, because you were exercising, was the, mm -hmm. the back on the exercising for the six weeks. Yeah, that was hard. Um, especially because we had like races that we were tr supposed to be training for. Right. And I'm like, oh gosh, like I'm going to be terrible. Should I even do this? Um, we were supposed to do the 18 miler. My husband did it. I didn't do it because my daughter wanted to go up the island with me. It's, it's, you run from one point of the island to the other. Okay. Um, and you know, that was hard. That was a hard one to do, not do because that was a goal, but there's always next year. Gosh. And then I did the 13 miler and I was like, oh, again, oh boy, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. And I did it. So, and it was easier than running any other race that I ever ran. So, awesome. you know, cutting back was hard. It was like, what do I do with myself? What am I going to do? But then once you got there and you realized you could still do it and it was better than before, it was so worth it. It goes against you, the usual um, lose yeah. weight routine of yeah. less calories, more exercise. Mm -hmm. um, you know, mm -hmm. so. Well, overall, if somebody's sitting on the fence about this program, whether to do it or not do it, what would be your advice to them? I say just fight the bullet and do it. Just do it. You have to. Because if you don't, then you'll still be the same place you are tomorrow. And you'll still be the same place you are a week from now. It's not going to change unless you just do it. So that's what I say. I say just do it. It's easy. It is probably the easiest way to weight, lose weight. And I've been trying to do lose weight for four years, three years, four years. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, you won't regret it. You just wouldn't regret it. You'd like, you won't. By the end of the six weeks, you will be, sometimes you might think, oh gosh, I'm crazy. What am I doing? And you know, in the beginning when you're having that detox phase where you just feel like, you know, nervous, you're not used to it. You're meal prepping. But just do it. Just push through and do it. It's easier than going to the gym at 530 in the morning. So there's, I'm going to just say hello to a couple people who are watching. Um, Elise, how you doing? Kim, my wife, is on watching, which means the kids are probably gathered hey, around. Girl, hey, <laughs> hey, Sid, the kid. <laughs> and then uh, Joan, thanks for, thanks for watching as well. Um, so... The the six week program um, it, it is, is different than other programs you've tried in the past, and mm -hmm. it gave you the results you you, you wanted. So um, yeah. just I just wanted to say thank you for coming on, um, mm -hmm. telling everybody because this you know word of mouth is the best way for anybody to learn uh, about the program, and um, you know I always forget to do this, but I'm going to try to remember. First off, uh, if anybody has any questions, put them in the comments of the Facebook Live, and I'll try to answer them tonight, later, whenever I see them, um, or right now if there's questions. Number two, um, you can also go to our website, www.metabolicbodyreset.com. There's a button on there. You can schedule um, 20 minutes with me to answer your questions to see if it would be the right fit for you before even taking the next step uh, to do a program. And then... Um, since we're approaching the end of the year, a lot of people have HSA and FSA accounts. Um, those apply to this program as well, um, if you have them and they're available. But 
Kelly, I thank you very, very much for your time. Thank and you. You have any parting words for everybody or anybody you have to say hello to? Um, I just say, if you're wondering about it, just do it. Just break down and do it. It is the easiest way to lose weight. And I don't regret it. I'm going to do it again. This will, you know, just to get me where I want to be, like the exact spot I want to be. But it's a total life changer. Awesome. So. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for your time and enjoy the rest of your night. And um, I'll be talking to you shortly. Yeah. Thank you, Dave. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Have a good Bye. night. Have a Bye -bye. good night.